field-wrapped pipe. When a pipe boot cannot be used to flash a projection, field wrapping the detail is required. Measure and make marks six inches out from the outside of the projection on four sides. Then measure the distance between the marks. This will be the length of your base flashing. Measure and cut two pieces of 12 inch wide uncured flashing tape to the length needed for the base flashing. Round all corners. Apply tape primer up to the marks placed around the base of the pipe. Allow the primer to dry until tacky. Fold one patch in half along the scored release liner. Remove one half of the release liner and set the exposed adhesive at the marks made around the base of the pipe. Set the flashing tight to the angle change. Cut the base flashing at the center of the pipe and stop approximately one inch from the pipe. Fold the base flashing with the release liner around the pipe and trim to leave a minimum of three quarters inch of membrane on the pipe. Remove the remaining plastic release liner and set the membrane to the base of the pipe. Do one side at a time and ensure that there is no bridging at the base of the pipe. Roll entire patch with a two inch steel roller. Apply tape primer over the first piece of base flashing and allow to dry until tacky. Fold the second patch in half along the scored release liner. Remove one half of the release liner and set the exposed adhesive at the marks made on the other side of the pipe. Set the flashing tight to the angle change. Cut the base flashing at the center of the pipe and stop approximately one inch from the pipe. Fold the base flashing with the release liner around the pipe and trim to leave a minimum of three quarters of an inch of membrane on the pipe. Remove the remaining plastic release liner and set the membrane to the base of the pipe. Do one side at a time and ensure there is no bridging at the base of the pipe. Roll the entire patch with a two inch steel roller. Pay special attention to step offs and angle change. Measure around the pipe and add four inches to provide a minimum three inch vertical seam. Cut a 12 inch wide piece of uncured flashing tape to the length needed and round the corners. Measure and mark the pipes so that there is a minimum one inch seam onto the deck. Mule hide requires a minimum eight inch flashing height where possible. Apply tape primer to the pipe and on the base flashing around the pipe. Allow to dry until tacky. Remove the hard plastic release liner and fold the flashing in half. Set the top edge to the marks on the pipe. Be sure to keep it level. Wrap the flashing halfway around the pipe and stop. Roll the flashing down to the angle change, making sure there is no bridging. Carefully fold down the bottom of the flashing to seal it to the deck. Prime the flashing where the vertical splice will be and allow it to dry until tacky. Finally, continue the wrap by extending the flashing around the pipe and sealing the entire flange to the deck. Roll the entire assembly with a two inch steel roller, paying close attention to step offs and angle change. Wait two hours and apply lap sealant to all edges, including around the top of the pipe.